We think 2019 has been the best Mobile World Congress show we've seen in years. What's made it so special? The phones you're about to see. All doubt has been removed. The era of the folding smartphone is here. Meet the 5G Huawei Mate X, and it's even more intriguing than Samsung's Galaxy Fold. The screen wraps around the device and folds down a central spine using a hinge Huawei calls the Falcon hinge. The main screen is 6.6 inches. That's the screen that Huawei says you're going to use the most and size here really counts. The rear screen measures 6.4 inches and unfolded, the Huawei Mate X is a massive eight inch tablet. Many of the components are found inside a bar running down the edge of the Mate X, including three Leica camera lenses. There's no selfie camera, as the same array can be used to take pictures from the front or the back. Cleverly, people can see themselves in the rear screen when you're taking a photo for them to check how they look. We're left with many questions, not only on the rest of the specification, but also on when it's coming and crucially, how much it's going to cost. All this and probably more will be answered very soon. Take a moment to look at the back of this phone. Have you ever seen anything quite like it? This is the Nokia 9, and there are five camera lenses on the rear. All of them are 12 megapixels, and all of them work together to take amazing photos where each lens uses an image together. Nokia's had some help creating this camera masterpiece. It's helped by a company called Light, which developed the technology that fuses all of these things together, and it's also helped by longtime partner Zeiss to make the imaging even better. The clever part of this again is it gives you amazing versatility with your photos. It shoots them in RAW, which gives you the option to edit your photos to create a better, more professional look. There's also adjustable depth in your picture to incredibly detailed levels. This is a pro photographer's dream. The design is actually typically Nokia. It's understated, but it's also beautiful. Inside is not the latest Snapdragon 855 processor, but last year's 845 processor. Still plenty of enough power for most people. We'll spin around the front. This is a six inch OLED screen. And you'll notice there's bezels around the edge. This recalls the LG G6, actually a very attractive smartphone. Now, if you're tempted by this amazing five camera lens, you need to know that this is a limited edition phone you won't be able to wait around to buy one of these. If you want one, you're gonna to have to get onto that very quickly. It's coming out in the next few weeks and the price is going to be around 700 euros, $700. Maybe a bit less if you're really quick. The next phone on our list that we love from MWC 2019 is this, the Xiaomi Mi 9. So why do we love it? The price and the performance. This is 450 euros, it's about $500 thereabouts. But inside is that Snapdragon 855 processor that we've been hearing about all of the time. So all of those flagship phones, $1,000 plus, same processor inside here, half the price. But it's not just that. There's a ton of other really cool stuff that we love about the Xiaomi Mi 9. It's the first time Xiaomi has used a triple lens camera on the back of one of its phones. And this one's really special because it uses the camera sensor of the moment, the Sony IMX586 48 megapixel lens. And it's really special. Not only does it give you great photos on its own, but you can zoom in for lots of amazing detail without a particularly strong optical zoom. Also on the back here, this is the transparent edition of the Mi 9. So transparent in the fact that you can see underneath approximations of what's inside the phone. It's not the real thing, it's just an impression. This gives another special feature away. This is where the wireless charging dot goes. The Xiaomi's come up with its own wireless charging system that's incredibly quick. 20 watts of power is put through the wireless charging on this phone to recharge the device wirelessly in about an hour and 40 minutes. That's way faster than we're seeing on any other wireless charging system. Just because the Mi 9 is reasonably priced does not mean it looks or feels cheap. 
This is the lavender version and it's stunning. You can see the beautiful color and reflection you get on this version. This is Gorilla Glass 6 on the back and around the front is Gorilla Glass 5. This is a 6.4 OLED screen. So these are super great specs for the price. Remember, 450 euros or just over $500. That is a bargain. LG always gives us something fun at Mobile Congress and the G8 ThinQ is no exception. This doesn't just have swipey gesture controls, that's rubbish. This has got air gesture controls and it cleverly uses the camera system on top of the screen with a 3D depth sensor. So the idea is that you hover your hand over the camera and activate almost, there we go, a gesture control system that you can open particular apps. So in this case, you can open maps or the music player. And then with the music player as well, you can additionally change tracks, you can pause your music, and you can even change the volume using a gesture. Now, we're not convinced that you'll probably use this very often, but there's no denying it's hugely enjoyable to use. LG's got big plans for its air gesture control. As you can see here, this is an oversized version of what it intends to make an interactive game element with those features. So the idea is to stand in front of your phone and then use your gestures to play an on-screen game. Again, whether this all comes true, we don't know, but it's really fun to look at and we love the innovation and ingenuity that LG displays with the G8 ThinQ. You're looking at a 6.1 inch OLED screen on the front. The phone's actually quite sizable, but it's very light, nice and comfortable to hold. On the rear is a three camera lens system. There's a 12 megapixel main lens, a wide angle lens, and a telephoto lens, and a fingerprint scanner underneath. Inside, just like so many other phones we're seeing at the moment, it's the Snapdragon 855. So when are you gonna be able to buy this? We don't know, LG's not saying just yet. Probably within the next few months, this will go on sale. And as with all LG phones, prices to be announced by carriers when it comes out. Sony's long been criticized for not changing up its smartphone designs. Well, that has changed with this, the Xperia 1. You are looking at the world's first 4K OLED 21 by nine aspect ratio display on a smartphone. And that is a serious change in design for Sony. This is great for multitasking. It's a wide display. You can fit more on the screen in landscape than usual on a smaller aspect ratio screen. You also have the benefit of watching movies and TV in the format the director and the creators originally intended, so you get a greater visual experience. Moving on from that, the Xperia 1 has got a brand new image processing engine that enhances brightness and color and contrast to give you a fantastic cinematic visual experience. You can see on the back that there is a triple lens camera on the Xperia X1. Three lenses, one wide angle lens, a zoom lens, and a standard main lens you see at the top. Sony's really worked hard to get this as a professional camera system. So it shoots in RAW for noise reduction and a greater versatility for editing your photos. There's also, to make use of that 21 by nine aspect ratio screen, a new video recording system. So you can make your own really pro looking films. Inside the Xperia X1 is a Snapdragon 855 processor, just like we're seeing pretty much from everybody. Six gigabytes of RAM, up to 512 gigabytes of storage, and a whole lot more, including a long-lasting battery with Sony's long-lasting stamina mode. Here's a great demonstration of the benefits of the 21 by nine aspect ratio screen. You can see on the left just how much wider the picture is than the image on the right, which runs on a 16 by nine aspect ratio screen. So you see more of what's going on, which is great for gaming, as you can see here. The Xperia 1 also benefits from Dolby Atmos sound, so you're going to get immersive audio to go along with great images. The Xperia 1 is going to come 
in the springtime 2019 and the price is going to be around $1,100. Folding phones, 5G, massive changes in the way that the industry is designing devices. That's been MWC 2019 and we couldn't be more excited about what's coming next.